Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elaine, but you can always call me Ellie. And today I received in the mail the Illumicrate bag of this month. So let's go ahead and open it to see what it's inside. So I think this month, instead of having five items, we're supposed to have only four. But the quality of the items are supposed to be is supposed to be better. Let's see if it's worth it because they still charge the same. Until now, I've been really happy with the books and the items that I have received from the subscription box. Um, except for last month, I wasn't that happy with the book. I started reading the book and it wasn't that interesting, but I'm not ready yet to DNF it. So I'm going to keep reading until I either forget about it or finish reading the book. So this month's um, theme is going to be Into Dark, May 2022. And this is the, um, like the information card. And this is the first item, Goddess of the Night collectible teacup. So this is a teacup. I hope that I like it. I have never received a teacup before, so I'm really curious about how it is decorated for the illustrations that it has. Okay, so it comes in two separate boxes, the saucer and the teacup. this is a beautiful teacup i love the illustration with her hair long hair and trying to get the star okay so the plate is more like simpler simpler um it has like a half a moon right here and i like the color i like that blue and i like the violet or purple in side or in the background and this is how it looks like that I could use it um it's not small like really really small I could use it either for coffee even though I don't drink coffee every single day um or to like put flowers in them or I don't know save like rings I don't know what I can do with it <laughs> I had I don't have that on um, something that I could like put inside yet but I'm going to look for it because I do love these kind of things I even have the tea tin and all of the cups or the mugs that they have sent in the bookshelf I'm not sure if I'm going to put this one in the bookshelf okay so let's keep going okay so I have this I love the fabric of it so it is a bag. Let's open the bag. Oh, okay. This is a dagger. Oh, this is so cool. I never, I have never received a dagger before from any subscription box. Oh, and it is heavy. It's so heavy. Look at that. I really like it. It's really heavy though. Like extremely heavy. I like the design, the white and the red. It makes me remember or it reminds me either Sailor Moon. Um, I know that they would not do something like Sailor Moon inspired, but um, it makes me remember Sailor Moon or I don't know, Evangelion. It's so weird. It looks, oh, fairy tale, fairy tales. Also, fairy tale? Yeah, fairy tales. Makes me remember fairy tales. Ah, and cold gas as well those are animes yeah it's weird um i need to know like what fandom is this from okay so we have the goddess of night teacup and saucer um from oh, it looks like it's not from like any book or anything like that the teacup is just like greek mythology and then the dagger the great bone dagger replica hmm, is from the Nevernight series. Oh my goodness. I love Nevernight. So this is what happened. I bought the Nevernight books and then um, I read them and I lost them. And that hurts a lot. Um, I almost died 
when I saw that I moved and I didn't find those books and I've been waiting for the moment where I could that I can um, spend money again on that series because I had like the paperback series and now I want like a really nice beautiful edition edition because I do know that Fairy Loot did this wonderful wonderful edition and the cover it's so beautiful for the three books but um, it is really expensive online <laughs> and some people sell them like at $300 and I'm not paying $300 for something for not even a book it has to be like really antique really old book and no because I'm poor okay next um this what is this how dark the night with stretched with stretched before us yet a place with the light of the moon and stars oh i think this is inspired by the daughter of the moon goddess and i love the design my god i love those small details my favorite flower is the uh lily water lily and um it has one right there so I'm happy for that. Let me open because this is either a sketchbook, which is wonderful because I love to illustrate. I'm an illustrator and all of that. So I love to have sketchbooks um, like around, all around because I do paint um, with Procreate and Photoshop and clip paint, but I do enjoy also painting and illustrating um, traditionally so this is maybe a journal because I love journaling <gasps> oh oh my god this is a black journal that journal this is so cool my goodness and it is it has like a pocket in the back so that's good it has like this thing to put it and close it I really like it. This is a really good item. I could use it for so many things. I love journaling and planning my month. Um, one month ahead. <laughs> so I guess I love this. And it is black. So maybe you will have to use either um, gold, um, silver, or white pens for this. But you can make it so colorful with like stickers or scratch paper or something like that. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm going to I'm going to use it as soon as possible and I'm going to be showing you. Okay, and now um this doesn't have like it doesn't have any names or anything like that, so I don't know what it is, but I'm guessing it is a bookmark. And wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is, sorry. This is a bookmark and it is so beautiful and so delicate. I'm so scared of taking it off the package. Okay, so let's see. Because I'm going to, oh my goodness. This is the most beautiful bookmark that I have ever seen. Look at that. It's so beautiful. It's like a cutout. It looks like paper, but um, it's not. Wow. And the design is so cool. It has like a person or a creature here. And then when you um, turn it, it has like a, I would say like a god. It looks like an Egyptian god. So beautiful so so beautiful i'm so happy with this okay now let's look at the book and i have an idea with like the theme i have an idea of what the book is going to be and i'm hoping that they did something different with the cover and the whole edition because um i think the, the one that we have <laughs> um it's not that nice like it's nice but it's not like super nice and yes yeah, so i'm hoping that the cover at least is better um but yeah i'm excited so let's go ahead okay so there is no author's letter oh hmm. okay 
Okay, so we have in here the Book of Nine, Holy Black. And I do like it um, better with white or gray with some kind of texture. I mean, it seems like it has some texture, but the truth is that it doesn't have any texture. Um, it's just like an image. And I do like more, I do like more like the contrast between the gray or uh, white against the black of night because hello book of night night is supposed to tell you something in the cover but it is not that different from the regular one I think that um, the fairy loot box for adults only the the, the book only one um, it did one and it has like the same the regular cover but the end papers are different. I don't know if this one's this one is going to be like that. I was like expecting this book because they said it. They said that the book was going to be book of night, so I was kind of like, oh. Okay, let's see. So let's see the this first. Okay, I'm looking at something nice. So this is the cover, the jacket. Okay, I do like the contrast, but it is not that special. It's just like they just changed the colors and gave them gave the background a little bit of texture with an image, but it's not actual texture. It's just like a picture. Then we have the front of the naked cover, which it. And it is really nice. I like this liver noctum. I love that. Um, I love the details. The spine is really beautiful as well. And the back. I love the back. I love the phrase. And I like everything about the naked cover. The edges are just black. I'm not going to complain about the edges right now, today because I feel like the publishers have been having issues or the subscription boxes have been having issues with the publishers but come on like if you're a subscription box and you're making a new edition of a book you have to put something special because I know there is another book subscription in England that actually <laughs> made an edition of this book this same month I think I think it's Waterstones or something like that Goldstones I don't remember or oh, Goldsboro I don't remember the name but they did the stencil edges instead of the full black I'm not going to complain um, but I would like it more with the stencil edges instead of just the black thing and when it comes to the end papers, they're both the same in the front and back. And this is the design. Um, this time, I do have to say that the Fairy Loot Edition, because I saw it before, um, I don't have it, but I haven't seen it. It is way better. And it tells a lot more about the story. It's more beautiful. There is more movement. And I really personally enjoyed it more but I don't have it and I'm never going to have it because I'm not going to have duplicates of the book I only have duplicates of the books that I really really love that I have read many times or that I read once and I was like okay this is the book that I want to read for the rest of my life and I do not care how many editions or copies I have of that those kind of books my favorites but this one I haven't read it yet and I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I think that I'm going to like it a lot because it has a little bit of mystery and it's supposed to be creepy. But uh, I don't know yet. It, for you to like a book and for you to say that a book is, is your favorite, you have to like like almost everything about the book. You have to like the writing style, you have to like the emotion that it causes, the intrigue, the plot, the um, characters, and all of that. So I, mm, I could like the plot, but I maybe not necessarily I'm going to like the book 
as a whole so yeah I wouldn't say that I'm not happy with the box it had a lot of items that I'm really happy with the bookmark was so delicate excellent it is excellent um, the journal I love it I have never seen one journal with black pages and I think it's so interesting and I'm going to spend a lot of time um, journaling <laughs> and the dagger is so beautiful when it comes to the teacup I do not really either need it or love it I like it it is nice to have but it's not something that if I go to the store I'm going to get the teacup before I get anything else it's something like okay I have it now that's fine I like it I don't know maybe I sell it I'm not sure because I like to keep this kind of stuff but we'll see the book I'm not completely happy with the book because of what I said of everything that I said I think that because I saw because I saw already the fairy edition I um, would like to have that edition better but I do not have the book only for adults um subscription for fairy loot I'm not going to get it so that's everything I hope that you guys really liked this video and or unboxing if you have any comments please leave them below and let me know which item you like the most bye, -bye.